lashes are a little dramatic, honey. They give me my life, like, so as she says. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Reed. For those that are new here to my channel, thank you so much, sis, bro, for tuning into my video on today. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, whatever's gonna be on the screen, either up here, over there, or over there. Either way, subscribe, sis, bro, it is free. Definitely it's my channel out more than y'all will ever know. Y'all, on my channel, things you'll kind of find more so beauty content like this. I love doing beauty reviews, foundation reviews, beauty, makeup, period. Since, bro, I'm here for it. You will see it. Also, I do a lot of lifestyle blogging as well. And also some wellness content to include fitness, um, nutrition, all that good stuff you will find on my channel, sis. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please go ahead and smash the subscribe button, sis, bro, again. Again, it helps my channel out more than you ever know. So in today's video, y'all, I wanted to kind of come with y'all with a full face of new to me makeup hot end and also drugstore i got some stuff from target got a whole bag down here i put this in my last vlog if you haven't watched that vlog sis bro go ahead and watch that vlog it's gonna be up here somewhere linked um anyway i had showed y'all these products and i said in that video that i was gonna do like a new i mean a sit down a video on the products basically anyway y'all went ahead and um moisturized my face already i put on my parsali um 24 karat gold infused beauty oil so if looking to do with y'all that's why um so yeah and then also real quick i remember in my other videos remember i said member tell y'all i'm country remember watch my other videos i'm gonna have those linked to i think somewhere throughout this video where i tried the fenty foundation powder and it was like all wrong child had shade 430 that thing was red in the mug anywhere anyway i got shade 440 um, I got matched the shade, and then also the Huda, 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 whatever, um, Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish Foundation Stick. I got this in the shade 14 Cocoa. You see, it ain't been open. Yes. Um, the shade I had was 450. It ain't worth Chocolate mousse, I think. Um, we, we tried it, see. I tried it, but um, anyways. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be playing these products, too, and these are new to me because it's the right shade, okay? Like, so it's new. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, put our primer on. I'm trying to open this up. I want y'all to see that I had just literally um, sat down with these products to put them on. So they are like first impressions here. So I'm using my Milk Hydro Grip uh, Lower Primer. Love it. Um, I've been going for like a lot of, I've got a mirror down here. Keep doing the outside. I've been going for our dewy looks, I told y'all. So I'm probably looking like real greasy or something. Y'all probably like, ooh, girl, you doing too much. Your face greasy, you're not already putting on this <laughs> hydrating primer. Look, sis, mind your business, okay? I like this. This is what I like, all right? I like the dewy look. I was for the matte look, you know what I'm saying? Let me scoot back in case my mirror. Uh, I was for the matte look, you know what I'm saying? But I kind of like the dewy look, you know? So let's go ahead and rub this here in. I just love this primer, y'all. Ooh. Y'all see that? It's like a cast I'm getting. And it could be because I literally just put the oil on. I don't know. We're going to see. I won't make it easy for you now. I take forever room products in. <laughs> All right. Pat it in a little bit like this here. And thank y'all so much for all my new subscribers, y'all. I told, oh, my ash and my elbow be ash when I do that. <laughs> But yeah, thank y'all so much for my new subscribers. Like, y'all, I told y'all in the last video, man, all 63, I rocks with y'all. Now I got 66, I rocks with y'all. And I'm gonna have more in the name of Jesus. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate y'all. The comments you've been leaving and engagement is everything, all right? I wanna have like a community here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want y'all to talk to me. Let's talk to each other. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Huda Beauty Foundation, Faux Filter Foundation Stick. Again, this is, this is the shade 510 Cocoa. I got matched to this shade, so I just love the packaging. Look how it rolls up. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. It's a packaging for me, sis. So yeah, let's go ahead and just so cute. I hate to use it so cute. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and apply this to the face and see how it's gonna look. Oh, like butter. You see that thing? <gasps> yes, ma'am. I told y'all I got matched by a lady of color in Sephora. The last time my boo-boo went, you know what I'm saying? And she hooked me up. She was like, yeah, because I was about to do, um, what was the other one? 500 G. And she was like, nah, let's try. If we put it on, it didn't look all that good. I'm, I'm going ham, I know. 
but the thing blend out like butter, honey. Put more on now. But yeah, she was like, yeah, you can go a shade up from 500. And here we are, sis. And I feel like this is a good match. What are y'all thinking so far? I mean, I'm looking foolish right now. Let's blend this out. We're going to see how we looking. Man, I want to use your sponge, y'all. But if I have to get up and wet it, I don't feel like doing it right now. Close up. Let's go ahead and blend it out. I've been in here struggling my life, child, trying to make sure it was just right. Oh, I feel like it's good, though. I hope it is. How do y'all like it? Don't that thing look smooth? Like, if it didn't give me skin, honey, I don't know what it is. Ooh. It is the skin for me. This thing already getting dirty, but, you know, it's what it's there for. But, yeah. I'm here for this. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So, I don't think I'm going to build it up none. I feel like I'm going to just leave it as it is, because I'm not really into like heavy makeup, you know what I'm saying? Like I kind of just do the bare minimum, <laughs> I'm being honest. Y'all notice I don't do like um, blush, like contouring and all that sis, but I do got a blush because I want the bad blush. I want to play around it and I'm trying to, you know, slowly take steps with this makeup here thing, you know? Um, so I do got a blush we're gonna play with today. Let's go ahead and conceal. I'm gonna use a naughty but good. This is the Juvia's Place. I am Magic Concealer in shade 11. Y'all probably can't see that, but. Anyways, let's go ahead and conceal in my usual places. And then we'll come back. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. Slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just all right, y'all. That's the concealer. Blend it out. Y'all know I take the other blend and not my stuff. I want to go in with a little bit more because I didn't really put a lot on my eyelid like I like to do. So. I may probably go to my lid because I do like to go ahead and conceal my lid in advance before eyeshadow application. Alright y'all, so that's it for the uh, concealer. I did go ahead and I pulled out my sponge because I did want to use it. I just wet it with a little of my setting spray. Granted, it was the ultra matte setting spray. But we wait to see this, all right? And I like how it blended out the product. It's very squishy, of course. And I like all of, so far, I love the Sonia Cash sponges. I got this one already and I got this one too. This one retailed for like $5, I'm not mistaken, it was $5. Real cheap and expensive too from Target. So yeah, let's go ahead and set our um, concealed area. Y'all, I got so much stuff. I'm so used to pulling out what I like to use. Like keep forgetting, sis, you got to try the stuff you ain't bought yet. Uh, you ain't used yet. So the point of this video is testing out new products. So I got this Beauty Bakery Bite Size um, Pinch of Flower, Better Not Bitter, a lot of names, um, whatever, setting powder in the shade Cassava Yellow. This is the packaging. I just put my makeup hands all over it, so my bad. This is the packaging, very cute. Mm -hmm. And Beauty Bakery is also black owned. And so yeah, it's very cute. I love the packaging. It's a packaging for me, sis. And I meant to, y'all Y'all saw me, I put this up in my last little clip, whatever. I meant to use this. I bought this Wet n Wild eyeshadow. Um, not I had a flat top brush to blend out for my concealer, uh, Lord foundation and everything, but I forgot to use it. You saw I forgot that fast. I'm so used to my um, Sonia Cash sponge now. It's kind of what I like. So anyway, I won't try it out, but I'll save it for another video. So let's go ahead and get this setting powder out. I won't use this for my setting of the concealer since it's a yellowy type powder, and I live for yellowy type powders, honey. Ooh, looks so high endish. The packaging says. So that's Beauty Bakery by size, pinch of flower, of course, and it's the back looks like. You can kind of see the color of it. Very yellowy. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see how this is gonna look. 
Ooh, I love the ones you have to like twist like this. Remember the uh, Elf uh, matte setting spray was like that. But like I said, y'all, that thing gave me flashback like a mug. So we're gonna see how this do. And I appreciate y'all, the ones that commented too, that was like, y'all enjoy the beauty content, sis. I'm gonna give it to you, honey. Um, I appreciate y'all that y'all appreciate me. I appreciate the fact that y'all appreciate me. <laughs> so yeah, let me go ahead and, um, hold on, is this thing already? Oh, I'm so slow, yeah. I like to put it in my, y'all, if you ever like clumsy in the mug. Okay. Every five mils. And my kind of setting powers, because powder is so messy. Like, I like a press powder if I can, at any chance, get my hands on ones where I prefer. Y'all are so weird seeing him. I mean, it's not weird because I feel like I'm talking to y'all, <coughs> but I like a little music. You know what I'm saying? I make up, I like here listen to music, uh, preferably gospel. Um, if y'all didn't know, I grew up singing, honey, in the church. We country. Southern Baptist. Um, so every night, and I might break out with some. I mean, I feel like. You know, I'm not monetized on YouTube, but you know, when I get to that point, sis, I don't want to be where I can get my coins because I didn't have stuff playing in the background. You know what I'm saying? Other music or whatever. So I try not to play anything for that reason, but I do want to, you know, have something to listen to. You know, I'd be sitting here, you know, I can talk all day, but I like to have something to listen to. I do makeup. That's just me. Anybody else like listen to makeup? We listen to makeup. Listen to music like when you do your makeup? I do. This is what it looks like the powder. Let's go ahead and set. So I like it. It's very yellowy. <laughs> I'm sure y'all seeing that. Uh, what I'm seeing anyway. Super yellow. Um, I put too much on my top, but I like it. So if I thought I would ham on um, this side of my face, because I went in with a sponge I shouldn't have went in with, because I didn't really dampen. I hate when I don't dampen my sponge like I'm supposed to. I need to anyway, but you know, I just sprayed with that spray. Um, I don't feel like it has the same effect as my dampened sponge. So that's why I had to stop and go ahead and pull that one out to finish. Um, pressing in the powder and everything, but it's it's very nice. I'm trying to remember y'all some my products over here to the side so I can make sure that I have them linked in the uh, description bar. But yeah, it looks really nice. I like it. It's very yellowy. All right, so that's that for that. Then next I got the Fenty. Um, remember I told y'all I got matched? Well, I just told y'all. I got matched to the right shade, my right shade that looked right in the store and hopefully looked right on this camera. <laughs> this is the 440, shade 440. Um, the Fenty, so many words, long words, Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. That's what it is. So, um, yeah, I use this, so this kind of like really not a first impression, sorry. Um, I just wanna throw it in here, but <laughs> it's, it's not really first impression because I did use it once before, just once. Um, and it was cute, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't put it, I didn't use it over a foundation. So this is the first to see how it plays with a foundation. Um, so I'm gonna get my powder brush. Uh, oh, let me see. I could, you know, it's more like a kabuki style um, black top brush. I don't want to use a brush like this. I'm not trying to say a pack of known, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of brush over what I already got because I already got, I want a, a full coverage. You know what? Well, it's not full coverage, but it's full coverage for me. I don't really like, you know, too much on my face for real, for real. So to get more of the product, they say to use more of a brush like this, a kabuki style denser brush, um, as opposed to a more fluffy style brush like this if you're just trying to, um, you know, like not have the most going on, basically, is what I'm going for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to use this here brush and kind of just, I need new brushes. New, I need new brushes. Y'all can't talk to my life. So I'm just pat it in. Try not to get too much, because I have a habit of picking up too much product. I be going ham. I think that's it. That's good. I like how it's looking. I'm trying to make sure I keep sitting up because I sit too far back, I think. And I don't know if y'all can see me as good as you need to see me, sis. But yeah, that's a lot better chat than what I was looking like at 4 30. I was looking like a straight oompa loompa. I was like, Lord, fix it, Jesus. But I didn't put all the work through the video. I'm going to upload it. Maybe it could help somebody out to see this ain't your shade. You look like me. <laughs> don't go get 4 30 because it would not work. Um, but yeah, she matched me to this and I think it's pretty legit. 
and it's looking good with everything else so far. Um, I like it. All right, now I got, I got, dang, what I got? Yeah, my brain be going everywhere. Oh yeah, the blush, I keep forgetting. I ain't used to blush, I told y'all like, I'm a first timer with, well, I'm not a first time, I tried it before, but I don't know if I look right with it, so I won't try it again. This is, um, let me bronze, I'm tripping. Let me bronze first, I, child, cause I ain't used to bronze, uh, blush, so I'm over here confused. Like, what's next, what's next? I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fenty um, Beauty, of course, Co uh, not Coco, Mocha Mommy um, bronzer. Package is very cute. So I bronze up the face real quick with this here. clean up under it. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier, Mercier, however y'all say it. Mercier. Yeah, so bougie. Uh, the powder in translucent medium deep. What it looks like. Take that, bad boy. Ooh, y'all. Shallow waste powder everywhere. Hold on. Take my other little sponge, child. This little one here. Try to get a little bit of that here powder and clean up this little bronzer area. Yeah. All right. So that's that. And now let's go ahead and play this blush. I'm more excited for. Y'all, my heat and came on about to faint. I meant to turn off before I started. Feeling the these lights is hot. is a mess. They hot. I almost said something else. They hot. Anyway, I'm using Sephora. This is the Tiger Lily. I hear it's such a beautiful blush. Um, the Tiger Lily blush. Ooh, this is new. New product alert. This ain't new for real, for real, but it's new for me, like I said, honey. Um, y'all only know what brush do you brush, y'all. I mean, you can use brushes interchangeably. <laughs> y'all, like I said, I said that. I didn't say that country. You can use brushes interchangeably. You don't gotta use a, a powder brush just for a powder brush. You can use it for a blush brush and all that kind of stuff too, sis. I've learned that thus far in my makeup journey. Um, I hear the orange tone blushes are like really pretty on us with a color. So I kind of want to, I'm going to dip my little brush in both. All right. This ain't clean either. Don't judge my life. All right. It ain't super dirty either though. All right. Ooh, I'm nervous y'all. I'll probably pick it too much. I'll be doing the most. <coughs> I'm nervous. Okay. Who is ya? All right. It's safe. We're going to do this together. I ain't going to speed through this because I'm, I'm a first timer blush. All right. So y'all let me know if I'm doing this right. Okay. Let me give me some tips, all right? Just let it smile with cheeks like this. Then you take it. Oh, I'm nervous. Hmm. So, when I see it. From what I've learned thus far, you kind of like blend it up. That's what I liked when I did use this last time. I used a blush last time. I blended it. I patted it on the cheek. I put it on my cheek. Then I blended it up. Like into where the blush, uh, into where the bronzer area is. This is pretty. Do y'all like it? Hmm, I see it. Okay, I like it. Let's do the other side real quick. I mean, I see it. I probably went hand with it, you know. Hmm. It's very pigmented that we can tell. Um, but I like how it's looking. Like, it's the episode of Cheeks for me, sis. Mm, look at all dewy and glowy and stuff. All right, I like it. I might, I mean, I play with this some more to really understand blush more. But I like it, sis. Let me know if y'all like this blush, honey. Like I said, I believe I went in too hand with it, but it's all right. It's okay. Let me try to go with my um, same brush I use my bronzer with. Maybe that kind of diffuse it some too. I don't know. I feel like though, hmm, I don't want it to where it's like taking the place of the concealer too. <laughs> Maybe I put it down like 
too far over here. Mm, you know what I mean? Let me get my powder back out. Hold on. Yeah, I think I... Okay. Let's try to fix this. I feel like I went... It's cute when I do this. and smile, you know what I'm saying? I like it, but... I don't know. I feel like I need to... I don't want to lose my highlighter either. My highlighted area. Yeah, I put in like I put on too much, I feel like. But it's cute. It's very pigmented. So that we can tell. That we can tell. Alright. So I think that helped. Let me get my eye. That helped a lot, I think. Y'all I'm sweating because my heat, like I said, and popped on about the faint jar. Yeah. So yeah, they helped out a lot. I feel like putting this um, setting powder, like kind of back over where I kind of went ham on the bronzer rat. Y'all, like I said, not bronzer, the blush, Jesus. I'm new to blush, so go easy on me, okay? But I think it's cute, it's very pretty. I can see it's super pigmented. I feel like I did most, but I feel like once I put my setting powder on, maybe that'll kind of help to blend everything. I'll become a highlight. Oh, I'm trippy, trippy, trippy. I forgot my highlighter, y'all. I forgot I wasn't, I knew I wasn't looking all glowy like I know I'll be looking right now. Like I'm cute, sis, but I'm not like glowy, glowy cute. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and take one of these. Uh, hold on. Try to use another brush. I know it's going to be bigger, but I don't care. Because I want it to kind of go over the blush area too, I guess. I use my same uh, Makeup Revolution. Um, it's the Bronzer Reloaded um, Long Weekend. My thing broke up and everything, huh? But I use it for a highlighter, actually. It's a bronzer, but I use it as a highlighter. This brush is a little more bigger, I know, but it's fine. for the highlighter area all right so how do y'all like so far this is the base huh I put a little my forehead I told you like a little glowy dewy forehead too honey so I'm gonna go ahead and spray I did get I almost forgot that fast child whoo y'all all right I got this new elf illuminated this ain't new but it's new to me again that's why I said new to me drugstore and high-end products this is the elf illuminated mist and set clear setting spray uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one. I got the matte one and I like it. So I won't get this illuminating one because I've never tried it clearly. I like the setting powder y'all. It's very yellowy. I love it. Like I like I like yellow setting powders. Let's go ahead and set my face set the face really quick. Wait, let me test the mist out. Alright, there we go. I don't want to go in with the setting spray. Whew. All right, I want to give my little sponge, honey, and press it in the areas I didn't use it, use it that much, like the size, whatever. Kind of press it in my fan it. Y'all, let me get out camera real quick. Do my um, brows and put on my lashes. Y'all, I don't do them on camera because I be over here struggling with the lashes and my brow. Anyway, I did get some new um, lashes out. These are new for me. Um, they're not new on the, on the um, they're not new product, but they're new to me. This is the Kiss Matte Black uh, Lash Couture uh, 3D Volume Lash. This is the style, well, I don't know. It's kmat one It'll be down in the description bar anyway. I thought it's very cute, honey. They're very luxe looking. I like them in dramatic looking lash child. These are very dramatic. Yes. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my brows put these lashes on real quick and then um i got a new eyeshadow palette like the wet and wild has a new um they kind of like mimic the elf uh what you call them things the bite size palettes but this is the wet and wild color icon i got the shade camo flaunt this is new um this is kind of what the little color story looks like for it i like a lot of neutral looks um but i'm gonna try to do a halo eye um with this palette but anyway let's go ahead and go ahead Anyway, let me go ahead and do my brows and my lashes. And now, y'all, so I'm back. This is the finished look with the lashes on. I did my brows. Um, y'all, I was so excited for the lashes that I forgot to do my eyeshadow first before putting the lashes 
on. So now I can't use my eyeshadow palette because I told y'all these are definitely too dramatic anyway. Be doing any kind of crazy shadow with. So what I had planned probably won't work out. Any of these lashes being so bold and dramatic, honey, they a little bit doing the most, but they cute. Um, so yeah, mm, I maybe get some out of here and put it in my inner corner real quick. But other than that, I forgot to use it because I was so excited about the lashes to put them on first like an idiot. Anyway, so yes, yeah, the finished complexion, honey, with the brows and the lashes done. Get a closer up look. Y'all, I was scared with this um, blush because I'm like, ooh, since you put too much. <laughs> but I tried to go over some more of my powder brush um, to kind of mute out the color. It's a little bit too strong. It's very pigmented, like super pigmented. Since, but it's very pretty, though. So, um, how y'all liking everything looking? Comment your thoughts below, sis. I mean, it's cute. You know what I'm saying? This set is pretty. ain't really giving me no illuminating look for real. I look like a matte. Like, do y'all see? Like, I look like a matte to me. Oh, I forgot, y'all. I did use the, um, the same thing I used last video, the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara. I love this mascara, y'all. It is, like, really bomb. Really bomb. And then I used this um, Revlon Color Stay Cream Gel Pencil and my waterline. Give me a little pizzazz or something, honey, because I've got to do my eyes. So I said, okay. Can y'all see it? Mm-hmm. It's kind of there, you know, you see it. Go ahead and line my lips with Sephora Gel Molasses Lip Liner. Go ahead and line the lips with this. Oh yeah, I absolutely love this gel liner. So pretty and pigmented and rich. All right, y'all, and then we'll go ahead and use this lip crayon thing that I got from, if I got shadow all over it just now. I got this from um, Target too. This is the Revolution uh, Makeup Revolution, the uh, Velvet uh, Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in the shade Heart Race. What the packaging looks like. Very cute nudish pink packaging. You know I love me a nude, honey. And this is what it looks like. It has a little twisty thingy on it. So okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and I always spill this stuff. I don't spill anything. Go ahead and apply this and see how it looks, honey. Try to hide it, but you had me from the get-go. Super pigmented, that's for sure. <laughs> um, hmm. Trying to see if I like it, y'all. Okay. My lips lock together, it's pretty. Hmm. Cute. It's matte, I guess. Yeah, it's... It, it coming off well duh matte um but i had my lip balm on my um laneige glowy lip balm um earlier let me see i got glitter all down from freaking out shadow palette i like it like this actually so mm, i would hit it with a little gloss mm. Mm, no, I like a matte look. All right, y'all, so that's it for this makeup look. I feel like I was all over the place the video child. But yes, honey, this is the finished, comple finished complexion. Comment your thoughts, honey. Do you like this look? Do you feel like this is something that you will wear? Even though we ain't put no um, eyeshadow on, I feel like it worked well without the eyeshadow anyway because these lashes are a little dramatic, honey. They give me my life, like, so as she says, I knew I was gonna like these, especially for days where I don't wanna wear eyeshadow anyway, and just do like the bare minimum, like lashes like this, to kind of make it look like you really did something and look more dramatic than you really wanna look, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes the lash really can pull the whole look together, and in my situation, I feel like it did. <laughs> Um, but anyway, honey, that's it for this look, child. Comment your thoughts below. Do you like this look? Any of these new products that you liked and you feel like you would want to purchase, maybe if you've already had these products and you can play with them, let us know how you like the products. Um, only thing I got new is the Makeup, uh, the Makeup Revolution and Lip Crayon, the Beauty Bakery Setting Powder, my Huda Stick, my um, Pissy Powder. Those aren't new, but the shades are new, so it is kind of new. Um, and then what else I had new? Oh yeah, that blush from um, Sephora, the Tiger Lily blush. And I think that's pretty much it for like new part. Oh, the lashes, of course, but that was it. So yeah, I love the blush. I feel like I went in like way too hard for real. Like I need to like, you know, break it down not so I'm sick. But um, it's cute though. I feel like I had to do a lot more to clean it up because I put it what, uh, down, I think too far too. Or maybe I didn't, I don't know. Like I'm liking how I'm looking, then I kind of looking like, ooh, I don't know. Anyways, it's cute. 
So thank y'all so much for watching my video on today. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. It's gonna be up here, over there, over there. It's gonna be somewhere. Just make sure you subscribe, okay? And like this video, give me a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. It has my channel out more than you will ever, ever know. Comment your thoughts below, sis. Let's talk in the comments. Let us know what you like, what you didn't like. Do you got any, any of these products already? I know I said it already, I'm gonna say it again. And I thank y'all for watching my videos. And until next video, I'll see y'all next time.